Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Before you the video, please describe our channel. Huawei has been focusing on chip design for more than 10 years and has designed one series of chips through its high silicon semiconductor. Because of industry chain problems, high silicon's chips cannot enter the production line. After all, it has a certain relationship with the EUV lithography machine cannot be freely shipped. However, Huawei has stepped up research in the chip field, exploring other avenues such as chip stacking and superconducting quantum chips. Does Huawei have the ability to get rid of the limitations of ASML's EUV lithography machine? Is ASML's EUV lithography machine still popular? Huawei steps up research in the chip field. Major chip companies have different ways of developing chips according to their business. Qualcomm, MediaTek, and other giants will ship and sell the designed chips to earn revenue. However, the chips of companies such as Huawei, and Apple are only provided for their own use and are not shipped to the outside world. Although they are all chip designs, the industrial influence brought by them is different. Just like Huawei's self-developed chips to solve most of its business needs, from mobile phones to servers, to artificial intelligence and smart screens, almost all self-developed chips are divided into Kirin. Kuenping, Xingting and other series of products. The strength of high silicon semiconductor is obvious to all, but the problem of supply chain needs to be solved by globalization. Huawei has no need for profit from high silicon, as long as high silicon continues to carry out research work. On the bright side, High Silicon has actively explored ways out of chip stacking, superconducting quantum chips, etc. Separately, chip stacking is to combine two chips with advanced packaging technology to achieve greater performance breakthroughs. Chip technology is the representative of chip stacking, and the 3D Fabric Alliance created by TSMC is also aimed at research and development in the field of 3D semiconductors. These technical studies have proved that chip stacking is feasible and Huawei has chosen the right path. In addition, Huawei has published a patent for a superconducting quantum chip, which can reduce crosstalk between qubits. As more and more national scientific research institutions conduct research on quantum technology, overcoming the problem of bit crosstalk has become a major direction. Huawei's annual R&D investment of hundreds of billions of dollars has not been in vain. The appearance of the superconducting quantum chip patent shows that Huawei has been stepping up research in the field of chips, and the research is diversified. Some US media said that Huawei has begun to get rid of ASML's EUV lithography machine, and Huawei's chip stacking and superconducting quantum chips can change lanes and find another way to regain the opportunity to break the game. ASML's biggest technical advantage is the EUV lithography machine. An EUV lithography machine is priced at 120 million US dollars, and there is no market for it. It is not something you can buy at will with money. Because of the rules, ASML cannot ship freely, and so far it has not been able to ship to specific customers so it cannot achieve mass production of high-end chips. If Huawei can accumulate precipitation in other chip fields and use chip stacking to exchange performance, it can also achieve competitiveness in less high-end products and may be able to get rid of the dependence of EUV lithography machines. 
As for superconducting quantum chips, there is essentially no need for EUV lithography support. An American company called Zyvex has developed an electron beam lithography machine to manufacture 0.7 nanometers chips, which can be applied to quantum computers. Electron beam lithography can also support the production of sophisticated quantum devices, which theoretically provides support for the landing of superconducting quantum chips. Not only that, News came on November 7 that a research team from the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich made a breakthrough in superconducting quantum, using graphene material to create the world's first superconducting quantum interference device, which opened up new opportunities for the development of superconducting quantum. Possibility it can be seen that Huawei's superconducting quantum chip technology also has broad prospects. Is ASML EUV lithography still popular? ASML has become the world's largest lithography machine manufacturer with EUV lithography machines. Except for ASML, no second manufacturer can produce EUV lithography machines which naturally established ASML status. However, ASML is not without troubles. Market rules make ASML lose potential sales. Although DUV lithography machines can maintain free shipments, they have also been paid attention to by the United States, trying to further extend the rules to DUV lithography machines. ASML argues that it does not want the rules to continue to expand, otherwise it will disrupt the global supply chain. Half of ASML's revenue comes from EUV lithography machines. The question is is EUV lithography machines still popular? I am afraid that EUV lithography machines are not as sought after as they used to be. On the one hand, the demand for chips has decreased, and TSMC is slashing supply chain orders. When chips are in short supply, ASML orders are in short supply, especially EUV lithography machines are robbed by customers. After the shortage of cores has passed, customers' attitude towards purchasing EUV lithography machines has become a lot colder, including TSMC's intention to shut down several EUV lithography machines to save energy consumption and to cut capital expenditures by 10% and cut about 50% of orders in the supply chain. It is estimated that ASML has also been affected or lost some EUV lithography machine orders. On the other hand, customers put their procurement needs on the next generation NAEUV lithography machine. TSMC, Samsung and Intel have made clear the production target of 2 nanometers chips. The current EUV lithography machine is not enough to support production, so the procurement needs are placed on the next generation NAEUV lithography machine. ASML will ship the next generation NAEUV lithography machine next year, forming a new sales growth point. As for the current EUV lithography machine, it is estimated that it is not so popular. EUV lithography is the best way to build high end chips, but there is more than one way to the end. Huawei's chip stacking and superconducting quantum chips can make chip research go further. ASML controls the EUV lithography machine, but encounters the customer market to get rid of dependents. How to seize the future depends on ASML itself. What do you think about this? Feel free to share in the comments below.